the primitive trick the primitive trick the primitive trick is actually an an interesting concept in embryo or in embryology all right so now we'll be talking about the formation of this primitive streak that, that we spoke about when we we're talking about sarcococcygeal teratoma where we said the embryology basis of um primitive streak is basically uh the remnants of uh we said that the embryology basis for sarcococcygeal teratoma is basically remnants of the primitive streak. Okay, so how is this primitive streak formed? All right, so formation of the primitive streak, which is actually the first stage of gastrulation. All right, so this is a primitive streak. How is it formed? So about the 15th of development, uh, the primitive streak formation is the first sign of gastrulation. All right. So now it is basically a thickened linear band of epiblasts. Okay, so it is linear, okay, and it's thick. All right, so it is just like a thickened band of the epiblast cells. All right, so it results from proliferation and migration of epiblasts of the median plane of the embryonic disc. Okay, so it results from what proliferation growth and migration of cells of the median plane of the embryonic disc, all right? So proliferation and migration of the epiblasts of the median plane of the embryonic disc will result in what? The formation of the primitive streak, all right? So it appears at the back, or you could say it appears caudally in the median plane on the dosal aspect of the embryonic disc, all right? So it also bulges into the amniotic cavity, um, this is it. This is primitive streak. I see how it is growing. It is bulging into the amniotic cavity. Okay. So the cranial end of the primitive streak proliferates to form a slightly elevated area called the primitive node or the Hensing's node. Okay. So uh, primitive node or the Hensing's node. Okay, it passes over the head, and you can see this is the Hensing's node. If you trace this label, and it comes here, all right? So this is the cranial portion. Cranial portion of the primitive streak will form the Hensing's node or the primitive node, all right? So that's basically the formation. I think let's talk about the last one now. There is a small depression in the node called the primitive pit. Or the blastopore. Okay, now a narrow groove that is continuous with the pit also develops in the remainder of the streak, and this is called the primitive groove. Okay, so I don't think um, I have an image showing all that. Uh, Henson's node as a cranial part. There's no primitive groove, bro. Um, coming primitive groove, yeah, primitive groove or neural groove, okay. And this is continuous with the uh, Hansen's node, okay. Primitive node is where the primitive streak starts from, okay. So I just feel like once you just have this couple of points, then you are okay with the formation of primitive streak. You know, the date 15 is the first sign of grass relation. Thicken band of epiblast. Okay, uh, you come here now. You know that um, it appears caudally. Okay, the cranial parts form the Hensing's node, the primitive node, and all the stuff. All right. So guys, that's it about the lecture on the formation of primitive streak. All right. See you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.